Hello everyone. Welcome back to Spoken English Session 2, the beginning of the grammar. Now, to go back to the introduction video, we have clearly discussed that to learn any particular new language, there, are, there is a particular process which can never be avoided. To make the process perfect, listening of that particular language, write the grammar and also thinking in that language. So I recommend at least from now, when you watch an English video, start thinking in English. English. And I made it clear that thinking is not a complex word. Thinking means self-talk. Okay? Now, to start with the grammar, obviously, parts of speech they call. Speech means a sentence. To form a sentence in a new language, other than in your native language, when you form one sentence without any mistakes, you can form n number of sentences, you can write them, you can speak them as well. Okay? So that is why it is very important to start from the scratch. And I also told that this sessions will not go into the deeper aspects of the grammar. This is to, you know, uh, to start speaking as fast as we can without creating or without doing much errors. Okay? Now, the first parts of speech. Noun. Noun is nothing but, as we all generally know, the name of a person, place, objects also, or a group of people like army is also a noun. And that's why nouns are very, very important in terms of following some rules also. Like nouns are again categorized into many nouns, many types, but we are not going into the deeper aspects as I told. But the first 70% uh, obvious rule is nouns should be started with the capital letters first. Okay, there is some exception to some nouns, right? But in this video, I want to give a very important tip related to noun while we speak. That is, noun should be spoken in high pitch. Like, Ramu is a good boy. Delhi is a great place. When we give high pitch to nouns, the speaking becomes beautiful automatically. So in beginning, we should do it consciously. Later, it should become a habit. High pitch to nouns. Followed by pronoun, the substitute word to noun. Obviously, if I am talking about Ramu in a sentence, I can't keep repeating Ramu, Ramu, Ramu. He should, Ramu should be substituted with he according to the gender. If it is Sita, it is she. Similarly, for objects, a car becomes it. And what is very important related to pronouns? They have singular, they have plural. And that in grammar aspect, we should remember and we should learn. Moving on. Very, very fundamentally important point. Verb. An action performing. We call as Kriya in Telugu or whatever. Right? right? An action, a word which describes the action performing. We do many actions, right? Eating, sleep, drink, think. Any action is described in the form of verb. And why I told it is a fundamentally very important one? Verbs will have forms. V1, V2, V3, V1 plus ING. Without knowing this, we can never speak proper English. We can never write proper English. So that's why it is very, very important. Of course, in tenses, future topic, we clearly get to know about V1, V2, V3 and V1 plus ING. But for general understanding, a common example like eat, eat, eaten, eating, V1, V2, V3, V1 plus ING, they are very, very important. Moving on, add verb, adding something to verb, a word which describes the verb, that how the action is getting performed. For example, what you are adding to a verb is LY, mostly, the fan is rotating slowly, yes, you are describing how the fan is rotating with the word slowly. Now slowly becomes adverb. So that's why mostly the words ending with ly are adverbs. We see so many examples. We'll see so many examples in future also. Right now, again, noun, pronoun, verb, and adverb. I want you people to gain perfection on the usage on some rules before we move on. Okay? So it's very, very simple. Daily listening to some English video thinking in English and listening will automatically help us 
to speak proper English. That's what we discussed in introduction. I will also post the introduction video link behind, you know, below this link to understand or to remember back. Okay. So every time I want to end up a video with one tip. Like most of the people ask, what is the best exercise to do? And these days, when I told some of the students, it worked really well. One exercise can be gone are those, those days where we are writing diary in the form of notebook. Everybody has a phone or mobile where we have notes app. So at least 10 minutes a day, like end of the day, if we can write down what were the important activities which were happened throughout the day in your life. In English, while thinking in English, if you can jot down that, I think this will be a great exercise. Okay, so in the next session, we should discuss about adjectives, prepositions, conjunctions and interjections because they are the more important points without which you can never, you know, frame a proper sentence. Okay, so keep listening. Listening is the biggest magic with which we can improve our language. Thank you for watching. See you soon.